Hello students, welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed length and we said length is the distance between two points. We also discussed different apparatus which are used to measure length and one of it was a meter rule, tape measures and even vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauge. In this lesson, we are going to discuss a meter rule, which was one of the standard apparatus for measuring length. My name is Albert. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. A meter rule is a standard instrument for measuring length, and this instrument can only be used to measure straight distances up to 100 meters. This means the scale of this meter rule ranges between 0 meter to 1.0 meter. This is the same as 0, 0.0 centimeters to 100 centimeters because we said 1 meter is the same as 100 centimeters. Another important to note on this instrument is that it is calibrated in centimeters. It is calibrated or graduated or it has marks in centimeters and millimeters. Now, if you are keen, you are looking on the screen, you can look at the meter rule that we have there. Between 86 and 87, this one are in centimeters. These are numbers even in centimeters. And then between this 86 and 87, we have other 10 subdivisions. These 10 subdivisions are the one given in millimeters. Let me write properly and the one given in millimeters so it means one centimeter it means one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters therefore if we have our instrument a meter rule ranging from zero centimeters to 100 centimeters and one centimeter represent one ten millimeters, then it means the whole of this instrument has ten times one hundred millimeters, which is the same as one thousand millimeters. So this instrument can also measure distances from zero to one thousand millimeters. Now between sixty-four on this screen and 65 what we are saying we have 10 subdivisions therefore it means from 64 we go next we go to 64.1 64.2 64.3 64.4 64.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 then 65 then it means when you are using this instrument you can only read you can read you can read directly a one millimeter or if we convert a millimeter to, to centimeter then it means we will divide by 10 which is the same as 0 0.1 centimeters and if we can change this one to meters it means we will take one millimeter we divide it by 1000 then it will give us it will give us 0 0.0 zero one meter what does this mean the smallest number that you can read from an instrument we call it accuracy the smallest number you can read directly from the instrument is what we call accuracy and therefore when you are using a meter rule whenever you are recording your your distance or your length in in millimeters it should never be accompanied by any decimal place so you will just write it as a whole number when you are recording it in centimeters you accompany it with one decimal place because that is the accuracy of this instrument and then when you are recording in meters you accompany it with three decimal places accuracy of an instrument is defined as the smallest value that can accurately be obtained when you are using a measuring instrument so whenever you are using a measuring instrument 
and this one is not limited to meter rules only but all other instruments including thermometers and instrument that has a scale blades and many other instruments so when you are recording the first thing you do you investigate or you find out the accuracy accuracy means the smallest value like in this case we have uh, this meter rule is calibrated in centimeters so from 64 to 65 this is one centimeter between them but you can see in between here we have 10 other subdivisions and we said one centimeter represents 10 millimeters so if we have 10 subdivisions between one centimeter then it means one division represent one millimeter and this is the accuracy of a meter rule then now when you are recording your readings using a meter rule and you want to record them in millimeters then you don't have to accompany it with any other decimal place it should be a whole number now can we convert the accuracy that is one millimeter to centimeters then we will see how many number of decimal places must we accompany a, a, a number when we are recording in centimeters now we said we said one centimeter represents 10 millimeters now if the accuracy is one millimeter can we convert this accuracy to centimeters so it will be one times one millimeter one centimeter times one millimeter over 10 millimeters then if millimeters cancel then the answer will remain with will be in centimeters and then it will be 0 0.1 centimeters now how many number of decimal places do we have here one decimal place therefore if you are recording and reading from a meter rule and you want to record in centimeters like in this case if you want to record 65 then it should be 65.0 centimeters because when you are recording in centimeters it must be accompanied by one decimal place now can we convert uh, the accuracy which is one millimeter into meters then we will see how many number of decimal places must we accompany and a reading when we are using a, a meter rule and we want to record in meters then we said one meter is equals to 1000 millimeters now if the accuracy is one millimeter then it, how many meters is one millimeter then in this case it will be one meter times one millimeter then divide by 1000 millimeters so in this case millimeter will cancel with millimeters and then we will remain with our answer as 0 0.001 meter therefore if you want to record a reading and you are using a, a meter rule and you want to record in meters you must accompany your answer three decimal place even if you are recording one meter and you want to record one meter then it should be 1.000 meters this is because we are using the accuracy as our reference point so that if you want to convert to millimeters you only multiply by 1000 and all the the decimal places will go since when you are recording in millimeters we don't need any number of decimal places if we can do a few examples to confirm what we have been learning the question is what is the reading at points p1 p2 and p3 p1 p2 and p3 so at p1 is the pointer at any mark on that meter rule no so what you do you can decide to record the mark behind the pointer like in this case if you record that it will be 69.9 centimeters or you can decide to record the mark beyond the pointer because you cannot read anything and where the pointer is or you can record 70.0 centimeters but now for accuracy purposes then you do average if you want to record the correct answer since we cannot read anything between there then you have to do an average you do an average you add 69.9 plus 
0.0 by 2, which will give you 69.95 centimeters. So you see, when we are doing the average, we are doing a division, we are not reading it directly from the instrument, we can record it with any other number of decimal places. But when you are reading directly, you accompany it with one decimal place. Can we go to P2? Are you able to read P2? Is P2 a pointer at a mark? Yes, it is at 71.0 centimeters. You accompany it with the correct unit. And then P3, is it at a point? Uh, the point is it at a mark? Yes, it is 70, 70.1, 71.2, 71.3, 71.4, 71.5, 71.6, 71.7, 71.8, 71.9, 71.10, 71.11, 71.12, 71.13, 71.14, 71.15, 71.16, 71.17, 71.18, 71.19, 71.
90 degrees but if you view from an angle this are wrong viewing and this one is also a wrong viewing and in that case it will result to an error we call parallax error so it's important to know that when you are not viewing the meter rule or the scale perpendicularly when you are making your some measurements like in this case this person was supposed to view it from up here but if you don't view it like that and you view from this angle or from this angle we're going to make an error and that error we call it parallax error and now another caution that you must take when you are using a meter rule you should be very careful to avoid damage of the ends of the meter rule this is because most of them most of this meter rule like the one that we have here on the screen they don't have a short allowance at the end to cater for tears so if you have this meter rule you should not knock it on the ground if you knock it on the ground and it does not have any allowance here then you are going to damage the meter rule so that marks the end of our lesson today welcome to easy limu learning simplified